Hi, welcome for our uh, RTL online trainings. So in this session, I'm going to explain you how to introduce yourself in human capital management, Oracle Fusion Cloud human capital management. For example, uh, let's say your profile is showing that you are working in Fusion Cloud uh, HCM, human capital management, having four years of experience and you are passed out uh, your graduation in 2018. And uh, so far, you have completed four projects out of four, two implementations and uh, two supports. And uh, of course, you are working in the four models, let's say, global HR, payroll, absence management, talent management. This is about the modules which you are working. And this is about number of years which you are working. And this is the technology which you are working. And this is about your graduation, which has been completed. This is about number of projects you have involved in your experience out of that how many implementations and how many support so this is the profile let's say okay so for this uh, profile how we have to introduce so introduction is very important maybe you are uh, going to showcase your experience or you are really working last four years so it doesn't matter because end of the day it's knowledge and skill uh, is the matter right so how you are going to project yourself because the introduction itself uh, will make you uh, 20 to 25 percent of uh, success rate. Uh, the way how you are going to introduce this is very important. Everyone will have different types of uh, introductions. Uh, one of the best introduction I'm going to tell you. So you, of course you can go for add some of the things if required for this, or you can also go ahead with uh, uh, removing some of the points which are not required. What I'm going to explain here. Okay, but this is what uh, I found uh, better introduction to the interviewer about our education, about our uh, experience, about the number of projects and what is the current status. Okay, so we have to introduce ourselves like, I'm working uh, with Oracle Fusion Cloud uh, Human Capital Management and I've been working with Oracle Fusion Cloud in HCM four years, right? And BTEC passed out, that's what our, uh, uh, profile is showing okay so what we have to do is we need to start with our graduation education after that uh, total number of years experience in which technology okay and then uh, total number of projects uh, involved out of that how many implementation and support what modules you have been uh, involved so that's how we have to go with the sequence that's how we have to go with the sequence okay so we have to say like that so myself, this is uh, Ramesh. I have completed my graduation in 2018, passed out. After completion of my graduation, I have learned Oracle Fusion Cloud HCM. I got an opportunity as a fresher in the initial stage. And uh, last four years, I have involved in the two implementations and two support projects in Cloud HCM as a functional consultant. And as a functional consultant in implementation, I worked with Global HR, Payroll Options and Talent Management. And I also worked with the support of Global HR as well as the options management. These two models I have support experience also. And current project which I'm working is started around one year back. Initially, they started with the implementation. Uh, after completion of the implementation, we are providing the support also for the client. I'm also the part of support. Earlier, I was a part of an implementation team. So for this particular client, I'm working as a support right now in global HR as well as in options management module. In these two models, uh, I'm providing the support. Uh, we'll be receiving the tickets from the clients and we are going to resolve. That's how we have to go for explain. Okay. So then they'll ask you very high level. Uh, okay. Tell me uh, which module and uh, which tasks. So this all they'll go ahead with uh, uh, module wise. Module wise, they'll go for start. So indirectly, we are projecting that when did you completed your graduation, highest qualification. After that, uh, if you have any, for example, you might have worked as a three years or uh, uh, one year as a recruiter, HR recruiter, you have worked. So after that, in 2019, you have started your uh, journey in Cloud HCM. Okay, and you are working in all this uh, four years here. So that that time, what we have to do is, I myself, this is Ramesh. I have completed my graduation in 2018. After completion of my graduation, 
I started working as a HR recruiter. I worked around one year as HR recruiter. Then I came to know that uh, it's a good HCM cloud product is there from the Oracle Corporation. So I thought of it's but it it make my career into different levels in, in the IT industry. So I started learning the cloud HCM. I have learned around three to four months. Then I got an opportunity as a fresher in the initial stage with so-and-so company. Then I started in the initial support project. After six months, and then I started involving in the implementation also. I have involved last four years, to total four projects, two implementation and two support. And uh, modules which I have involved is Global HR, Payroll Options and Talent Management. And uh, all these modules are flexible to work as an implementation as well as in the support. Now, current project which I'm working is so-and-so client. And last one and a half year, I'm working with this client. In this client, I started as a consultant in implementation. After implementation, support is going on. I'm also the part of support. Or uh, Right now, I'm working in options management related for the employees and employee absences. The moment when we receive the ticket, we'll just go through the description of the ticket and also We'll try to identify the problem and immediately we'll update the ticket status saying that in progress and then we'll start working uh, with the ticket and we'll go for close. That is how the work uh, culture is going on with uh, current project. So this way you can go for explain. Then they'll come up, okay, who is your client? Which models you are working and which models you are strong? Can you tell me some issues which you have faced during that model implementation or some support issues? And general standard uh, questions uh, will get it from the application point of view. Okay. Thank you. Subscribe for this channel if you are not subscribed to get the latest uh, information about the Oracle Cloud as well as Oracle EBS Technical. Thank you.